Okay, we are live. Welcome in, uh, Suzanne Goulet. Welcome in, Butler Family Farm. We'll wait. We'll talk just casual for a few minutes before I start the questions. Give some people time to get rolling in. I think Garden State Garden is supposed to have some good guests on today, but I don't know who they are. But uh, cool. it, it might be the first batch of people that are coming for uh like he's doing a shout out, but the people are going to be there to talk about their channel or whatever. It might be something like that. I know he's going to have me on and I'm going to talk about my, my gardening collaborations that I have going on. So. Oh, I but can't it, wait to hear about that. I learned some new things about you. I'm going to talk about, I think I have it on here to talk about. I guess we could talk about it now before we start. Um, I'm going to do two gardening collaborations. Um, April 1st, I put out a hashtag bless my garden 23. And that's going to be where people pray for their garden basically. Oh. And just, I had a really bad gardening year last year and the year before that I had a good one. So I thought let's all pray for our garden and tell God, Hey, we know it's in your hands, not really in our hands. So I got that collaboration coming out, and then on April 3rd, I wanted to go ahead and put them both out in April. That way, people would have the whole summer to do them. I'm going to do uh, my third annual Weird Container Growing 23, where you grow in something besides a pot, you know, or a raised bed, your normal things. It could be like, you know, sink, a bathtub, uh, somebody grew in a boom, I mean, just random totally random things and I'll probably do more than one video and the people who join are welcome to join, do more than one video and just, you know, walk around your garage or your yard and just see what you can find. And it's kind of just the point of it is just for people to realize that they can grow in something besides a, a pot, you know, cause some people are on a limited income I and like they, they kind of need to be imaginative sometimes. And a matter of fact, I've got my first video already scheduled, but on my second video, I'm actually going to go in my shed, look through yard sale things that we have out there, and I'm going to find something in there, something really weird. I don't know. It could be like a a cooler, you know, like a styrofoam yeah. cooler, or I don't know. I mean, I think there is one of those out there, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to find something. Uh, like a purse you could use like a grow bag or something like that. So anyway, I'll probably, I already got one video done and I'll probably do at least three, maybe even, I think one a month for the whole summer would be cool just to keep reminding people that yeah. it's done. But I went to, uh, it um, kind of brings me to think about I'm participating in one in April and I, kind of think an open collaboration I, i'll have to get back with you 100 percent on that but it's um for the month of april and it's reduced the four r's recycle reduce reuse repurpose uh-huh um and that kind of reminds me of that like you're reusing something like an, a cooler that no longer you know you lost a lid for or something and then you turn it into a planter that's kind of cool you've inspired me on what i might be able to make <laughs> technically do both collaborations in one video. Like say you decide to do yeah. mine and theirs at the same time and just use both hashtags. And cause I've seen people yeah. do that. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. That's cool. Cause like yeah. when I very first started, I was in shed wars. So people would hashtag shed wars and my collaboration at the same time. Cause I was doing both. So hello, Canadian family life. How are you? So, so I don't know Shed Wars. I've missed out on this. It's Evidently, it's a big thing I need to now. catch up Hello, on. Lover. Uh, last year, my garden went, the first year I did well, and I put in weight for Shed Wars. It's a gardening collaboration. The second year, I, you know, I had the hail, the triple digits, the drought. I had all kinds of problems. And so I ended up bowing out of it because I was like, I'm not really going to be able to help my team. And then this year, I didn't even really know when it was. All of a sudden, I just started. There was a dr already the draft. I mean, I, I didn't see it till the draft video. Draft live was already out. And I was like, because Robert and John both pick a team and everything. Hello, nature growers. 
so anyway, it's out and there's a bunch of people in it, but uh, they got a whole new batch of people. So I have to follow along. I, I know some of them are people I'm subscribed to. So I'm going to go ahead and start. Um, why did you start your YouTube channel? I think I know the answer. Hello, Timberland Acres. Tim, Tim, Lynn Acres. Um, I think I had, I had just been sitting on the idea thinking it would be something fun because my name, I came up with my name when I did a blog where you just type it and you put the pictures, you're online, you know, you share recipes or stories or whatever. And, um, I had toyed with the idea of doing YouTube. I opened up my YouTube channel four years ago just so I could participate and, um, you know, respond to like, if you look back, Big Family Homestead was a channel I was watching and they were doing, you know, offered for you to do a response video. And I just wanted to be a part of the crowd. And it was kind of fun. And I toyed with the idea and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I really want to, you know, open myself up that much to this. So I sat on it for about four years and um, I had a friend who was going to do it. And I don't know, I just felt like my children were older now and it was a time to jump in and I could do it because um, we had just gotten through the pandemic and so many people were like, can you show me how you make your bread? Because I used to have a bread route where I would deliver things and it was considered essential. So people couldn't get bread at the store, but I was able to get the flour and I actually bread for this little store and I don't know it was just crazy and I thought people want to know how I make my stuff and what's my farm look like and I thought you know what I'll just start making content and yeah. so that's kind of how it happened yeah and then also you answered this before we actually started live but I'm going to uh, ask again for the people in the chat how long have you had your sure. YouTube channel so four years I've had over somewhere around four, four and a half years. I've actually had the channel, but I didn't start creating true content until like the very end of December last year. Yep. You're doing well. You're doing really well. Um, anybody well, who has a fun. tab, if you wouldn't mind sharing this live out so we can get some more people in and yeah. also if you're not subscribed to the inquisitive farm wife i have her link pinned to the top of the chat and if you're a moderator you're well oh. you are more than welcome to put up links tell us about what you do I don't see a link at the chat how do you do well, that remember, i'm looking to see remember i had it pinned and then i unpinned it to see if the subscriber only mode was on remember us I, I i'm just curious that. I'm wanting to learn. I'm not judging. I've got this here so no. I can respond to chat. Yeah, remember at and the I beginning to I told you. Remember at the beginning I told you. Oh, in the comment. I had to unpin it. I see it now. I see it now. I had to. I put it back. Yeah. I unpinned it to see if subscriber only mode was on. And then I forgot to put it yes. back. I'm just, just wanting to learn. Yeah, you just click on the right of it. And uh, the little dots and it says okay. pin message and you, you can do it from your phone. Like I'm on my laptop, but I do it from my phone. So, oh, oh and I said, cool. uh, tell us, welcome. I said, tell us about your channel. Oh, okay. So my name is Angela and I call myself the inquisitive farm wife because I'm a very um, curious person and I love to learn new things. And that's how I came up with my name. Um, and it was probably, I don't even remember, four or five years ago or something. I started a blog. And so you had to have a name. And I thought, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Well, um, I, I don't just settle on one little thing that I do. I, I start and I just keep adding. So it's like I had, you know, like a one or two acre garden. Well, then I wanted to add an orchard and, you know, you add your fruit trees and the next thing you know, you need some chickens and you need some goats and you need, you know, so I just kind of keep adding, but I like to learn about things. So like when I got the goats, I learned to make cheese or soap. And when I got the cows, I started making yogurt and, you know, whatever. So I'm just always learning something new. And I thought, well, how do I express that to people? So, um, 
inquisitive was the best word that I could come with. Yeah, I come think up with is because I'm just like mine curious. is very really general too because you know I do cooking, I raise chickens, and I do gardening. So mine's kind of, and occasionally I'll do a prepping type video. So mine's kind of pretty broad, but Gail's Southern living, Southern living could be anything, hunting, fishing, da, da, da. Yeah. Anything. So it's, it's yeah. a broad range because you never know. I get bored and I have to turn around and do something new sometime. Uh, what plans do you have for your channel for this year? Um. Well, I reached my thousand, which was super exciting. But as many of you know, that doesn't mean that you're monetized just because you reached a thousand. You have to reach all these watch hours and maintain them and stuff. Um, so it would be kind of cool to monetize, but it's not a have to thing. You know, I just want to have fun. Um, I'd say my big goal is I'm loving the collaborations right now. And so it would be awesome if I could do up to one a week. I'd like to spread it out so that I can have one video of something I've got going on in the farm and one video for a collaboration each week. That way I'm focused and getting my two because last year was my goal was one video a week. So I'm, I'm wanting to add to that. So um, that's kind of where I'm at with my goals right now. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of a lot of uh, collaborations out there. I don't always hear about them. That's the only problem. It's, and that's why when I have one, I always huge, try to put it out there. Hello, Alfonso. Welcome in. Yeah, it's a huge thing. Oh, hey, Alfonso. He's going to be on eventually on here. I think I set him up for the thirtieth, but I was having trouble with my computer that day, so I couldn't put in. You know how you can set it up ahead of time. Well, the day we agreed on yes. that, I forgot that he thought it was this Sunday. I said, no, no, no. I already have somebody this Sunday, but we'll set it up for the future. So um, what kind of animals do you have on your farm? Okay. We have dogs, guinea pigs, cats. Um, I think that's all we have right now on the house. And then we have livestock dogs outside and we have chickens, both regular and the banty. Banty just means small. So like I've got some, one, one pair of, of bannies left and they are about the size of a pop can. They're like really small birds. I noticed the one that um, the one of them was broody and you were in, in the uh in there with it and and i was looking i was going oh that's little that one's so little to be laying but now that you say bantam that makes sense because i know they're smaller that makes yeah. sense probably um was one of my japanese bantams that i had and how she big are, how big are the eggs? I mean, um about half the size of a chicken egg they're real small have you ever had a fairy egg or a fart egg or whatever you want to yeah. call them uh -huh. they're mm -hmm. about like that. they're smaller than your first egg from a chicken even it depends on the breed too because some of my bannies um like my coaching bannies were um pretty good sized eggs they'd be like a first layer egg but yeah, it's been a while those japanese bannies I mean, they were just you know less than two inches they were small it's and then I have guinea. guinea. New eggs again. A guinea. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Guineas and uh, turkeys and peacocks and ducks and geese wow. and La Mancha goats and um, Jersey cows. Jersey cows. That's cool. That's a, that's a lot of animals. I just added that's six to mine. Of course. Yep, we put our baby chicks in, in, say peacock? in a coop. Peacocks, yes, you did, because I remember that. Our neighbor up the street used to have a peacock, and when we would drive down our street, we would see the peacock, and I think something eventually happened to the peacock, but, yeah, it was, it was kind of loose. We would look in the backyard to see if the peacock was back there, and a lot of times he was. <laughs> back there. And his name was Pete, Pete the Peacock. Oh, um, funny. I haven't found a name for my males yet. Yeah. I can't, I just can't settle a name. I don't know. I, I don't, I guess Pete and Peacock, you know, when I was a kid, I used to name my dolls 
like my mom used to get us, she used to do couponing too. And she would send in for things. And so we had the Peel, Pillsbury Doughboy uh, character, stuffed animal character. And we, because he was the Pillsbury Doughboy, we called him Peter. <laughs> and then we had the, we had the Dole Pineapple, but we didn't call her that. We called her Janet. I don't know where that came from. The funny things you, you do with your kids. That's hilarious. Yeah. So what what videos do you have scheduled for next week? What do you what do you got what do you got uh, going on right now? <laughs> Look, I don't even remember. I think oh, um, yeah, if, that's like me. next week's the last week, right? So let's see. Oh yes, last week of the month. Yeah, okay, so my two this week were today I did a preparedness video. Mm -hmm. And then um I'll do a mail call Monday live tomorrow. I do once a month mail calls right now. Um, Wednesday, I'll do my What's Up Wednesday live stream. I'm having a pamper chat party. So I'm so excited about that. Um, one of my friends here on YouTube came up with this genius idea of doing live pamper chat parties because it gets shipped right to you so like all my friends that i've met on youtube that couldn't come to my house to have a party we can just have one on live stream that's so a neat idea we can do that wednesday i know how fun right and people yeah, can yeah. just watch and be like they're there you don't have to order anything if you don't want to if you just want to be there and have fun that's good too you don't have to and make gonna give away food food. in your house or anything <laughs> i know She's going to do it all. And she's like, what do you want to make? I go, whatever you want to eat, because it's going to be yours. <laughs> yeah. So that'll be Wednesday night. And then Thursday, my pies of March video for a collaboration I'm doing. And it's a tomato basil pie. I have it um, scheduled to premiere that morning at eight o'clock central time. And it is our family's favorite pie. And it is so good. Even I, want to make that. I seen it about a year ago on the Sladies channel, but if, uh, well, basically I was waiting to get some really big, you know, healthy, juicy tomatoes out of the garden. And I may try that. And I can't remember what channel it was now, but I bet you could totally look it up on uh, somewhere and find a good recipe or probably even your channel. Well, but. it's not my recipe. You know, I'll tell you in my video that yeah. it's not. <laughs> and I have it, the link to, it's a Paula Deen recipe and I have the link Ooh. down below. But of course I had to tweak it a little because that's just what I do. Oh yeah, but, I do that too. Yeah. Even if I do get a recipe off of YouTube, it's not always the same by the time I finish it. It's like, yep. So you got the pie collaboration like going that you're entering. Do you have any other collaborations that you're entering right now? Okay. So um, I did the freezer frenzy and that video came out last Friday and it was just basically what I did is I chose to do tip, tips and tricks on how to have one big freezer meal day because if I had showed the entire thing it would have been like an hour and a half long and nobody wants to sit for that long so I broke it up well, that is um, a premiere. and I had, yeah I I did three videos that'll come out in April were kind of like a spin-off of that for the three recipes that I made that day so um, I'll be doing that in March and then I'm gonna do angler April on the eighth, is that a fishing um, one, angler? Yes, it is. So my son and I. Oh, hey, Andale. Um, my has or my son and I. My son loves to go fishing, so I thought this would be a good opportunity. I have something I could do with him because last month with the freezer meal I did with my daughter, and so I thought, well, this would be fun. He loves to fish. We went out once. We didn't catch anything. Um, we're hoping to go out again next weekend before my video. Um, comes out, but it's we. Our goal is to do a catch, clean, and cook video for you all. And then on the tenth, I'm doing feast in a jar. Gail, are you, I think you froze on both ends. Oh, there you yeah. go. Oh, uh, that has that does happen. Um, that does happen. Can you hear me? 
Can you give me a Yes, I lost you for a second, though. I was seeing so Alfonso was asking you. Um, uh, yeah, he was asking me. I, I've i been okay, trying. I think he asked I need to get my, I need too. to get, I am going to get my merch store up very soon. I worked on it for a while and literally it was a little hard. So I dropped the ball on it and I need to just like pick it back up and do it again. So. That is me. I want to start selling my um, goat's milk soaps again. I've got a bunch made and ready to go. I thought, you know, it takes six weeks to cure. And I thought, oh, I've got that six week time frame to get a web page, you know, somewhere to sell them at. Well, I tried three different sites and I wasn't super happy with them. And so I'm like, okay, I don't know about all this. So I've got to settle down and get this done because I'd like to do that. And I used to make like lotion and lip balm and I'd love to do all that because the goats, I have had one goat born, but once all of them are born, I'm going to have lots of milk and I'll have lots of things I can make again. So like some goat milk soap I, or I something. Get that. Yes. I make the goat's milk soaps and lotions and all kinds I of things. Really I made. Milk. Ray Hanley made is my sister-in-law. It would be my husband's sister. Oh. She has a okay. YouTube channel too. I don't know. You probably ran, ran across her somewhere on YouTube, I'm sure. Um, yeah, maybe if we were in a collab or something. Yes, I'm sure. That name does sound familiar. She's been working, yeah. so she hasn't done any. I don't, I don't think she's done any cooking things, but she does a lot of crochet things on her channel. But she's really kind of like us, a little multi-versatile on everything that she does. So uh, how do you like your awesome. freeze dryer? Love it. Actually, um, while you were messaging me earlier, I was finishing up thinking I've got to get this done because I wanted to get something going again um, before I came out here to the farm stand to do the live with you. What is the weirdest thing you've ever freeze dried? I don't know. I'm not super adventurous, I guess. Um, I guess, so some of the candies, I have a video that came out in February on us experimenting with different candies. And I guess the weird part would be what, how it came out. We weren't expecting, you know, we, we thought in our head one way how it would turn out and it didn't turn out that same way. But as far as like, I mean, I guess avocados would be weird. People might think that's weird. And they did really well. But after about the one year mark, I noticed I went to check in my storage and they turned brown. So um, that was weird, I guess, because I had done the lime juice and everything. Um, but I put them in clear bags and not mylar. So my bad. Beginner error. Yeah. Actually, I'm looking at, um, Alfonso, I'm looking at Equid. Is where I'm looking at going. Yeah, I was, uh, my, my sister and I were thinking about doing a business on Etsy, an Etsy store where we would both be doing part of the work. So we're, we're still in the planning stages of that. We might get that going, but, um, but I, but yeah, I do need to do my, um, I'm trying to re read and talk at the same time and multitasking, not always. It's hard when you're hosting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to read that and I'm talking and I lose train of thought. But uh, the weirdest thing I've ever dehydrated was marshmallows. I dehydrated marshmallows because I saw somebody else do it on their oh, show. Yeah. And, and uh, one of the men in the homesteading community said, why on earth would you dehydrate marshmallows? So, well, actually it preserves them because marshmallows get sticky and stick together after a while. But after you dehydrate them, uh, they're almost like candy and you can use them for marshmallows or God forbid the world goes crazy. If you had marshmallows, you could eat that like candy kind of, cause it gets crunchy like candy. So anyway, and that's I love them. Dehydrated. Um, I like I it in my chocolate. Yes, me too. And they'll get kind of soft again. At least the freeze-dried yeah. ones have um, a little yeah. bit. The The biggest difference I found between dehydrating and freeze-dried, I didn't notice a big with the marshmallows, but the peeps, um, 
I had, if I do them in the middle, things always explode more. And I did a load of peeps for um, a cousin. I'll just leave it like that. And the first batch I did for, I started in the dehydrator to save time and finished them in the freeze dryer. And they puffed up a little, but the second batch I did it all in the freeze dryer and I didn't do a piggyback cycle and they got huge. And she was like, wow, they did explode. I mean, you could see cracks in the, in the sparkly, you know, sugary coating and you didn't before. So yeah. That'd be, that'd be fun to play with, um, with your yeah. freeze dryer. Uh, no, no, that's not the question. Okay. It says on one of your video or in one of your playlists that you make cheese and butter and yogurt and ice cream. Which one is the hardest and which one is the easiest? For me, um, oh gosh. Hello, BNC Gardening. Ice cream is probably kind of difficult for me. I can never quite get the texture from the store, but I think I figured out why. Um, they put corn syrup in it. <laughs> That's what makes it so creamy. Because like if you've ever made homemade ice cream and you keep it in the freezer for, um, you know, a couple weeks or a month, usually when you make homemade ice cream, you know, 4th of July or whatever, you set and you eat it. Maybe you have it for another day or two, but not for like something you want it stable in the freezer. Because mm -hmm. I'm wanting to figure that one out. And it's like, how does it, you know, when you go to, let's see my hand, you know, you go to curl it up to make that scoop and it's creamy yeah well um yeah i always thought I that was the, the, it was the milk that did yeah. that the creamy part but i guess it, not there's an additive they put in there and i want to i want to say it's corn syrup i don't know there's videos out there something you don't want in your ice cream is the thing that makes it do that 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 yeah. would be right uh, BNC yeah, Gardening is experiments. I did email. I sent you an email. I don't think I've got a response back from you yet. I'm just letting oh, you know because I don't always check my email either. So I thought I would just tell you. Yeah. And then and the then, easiest. Which one's the easiest? It's probably a tie between yogurt and butter. Probably yogurt. Butter, there's a few learning curves, I guess, um, depending on what device you have. Because, like, I have an antique butter churn, and it is the simplest thing ever. It's, like, nothing to make butter. But before I had that, it was difficult with my KitchenAid mixer. So I guess yogurt because it just turns out every time. Yeah, that sounds like it turns out every time sounds good to me. Uh, yeah. what's, what state are you in? Kansas. Kansas. I did hear that in a video, but I thought I would ask you for the people who are listening. Um, yeah. So earlier, uh, hubby wanted to go to his friend's house to play some video games and uh, his friend lost his wife uh, about two years ago. And so he's just tries to spend time with them. And he, my husband is older than him. So he's kind of a mentor, but anyway, so he asked, Oh, can I go over there and go to my friend's house or whatever? And I'm like, but, but you didn't till my squash section, my squash raised bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I was teasing him. And uh, I just thought he'd say, oh, I'll do it next weekend or I'll do it on Tuesday after work or whatever. But he's <laughs> I forgot all about it. I can hear the tiller going off right now. Oh, how nice. He'll and help you do that. Kidding. But... See, I'd already had my butternut squash, my acorn squash, and my yellow squash. I should not have planted it because my last frost days this weekend. But I did because I had plenty of seed. Guess what? All of it's coming up. So I thought, well, if that squash oh, is up, I might as well just put out my zucchini squash. But on the zucchini, I do a whole bed because that's my favorite thing. So, Yeah. So he's out there doing that. Can you that. put something over it if weather changes real quick? Yeah, I have stuff. I have stuff. But, I mean, Good. I've been watching the last, I mean, the the low every day. And nothing below 43 for the low. And most of the days are in the 70s and 80s. So, but like I said, I have plenty of seed. So, I mean, Simply Jan sent me a whole thing and it, it probably had a hundred seeds in it. Hello, Ariel Viking. Oh. Rituals. 
and and that's of the acorn and butternut squash. And then I got my own yellow squash and I also got some with a seed swap. And then I have double on the squash too. So I, I have plenty of I seeds. Missed, I missed all seed swaps this year. When I finally found one on YouTube, um, it was like- There's a lady that's watched it doing one recently. I wish I could yeah. remember the name. Uh, I would recommend, though, Indiana Backyard Gardener Seed Swap. This is the best one. I sent in, I was supposed to send in three packages of seed, and it was supposed to have 10 seeds in it, right? So I thought, well, I'll, so I sent double that. I sent six instead of three. So people would have extra. And then mm -hmm. I said, and you're supposed to send three stamps. And I think I sent four. So I was just trying to do a little bit more than, than what was asked. Well, and then I sent a wish list of 10 items. So when I got my seed swap back, uh, I got nine out of 10 items on the list, wow. wish list. And I got 32 different seeds, different types of oh, seeds. Wow. And wow. I was shocked. I was like, so next year, definitely set it up uh, that you're subscribed to Indiana Backyard Gardener. Oh, I'm subscribed. I don't know how I missed it. And uh, her seed swap is the best one I've heard of. I mean, I've heard of a lot. Some of them, <laughs> a couple of them I didn't enter because they have it like on a spreadsheet and stuff. And I'm like, oh. Oh, too much. I don't work out there anymore. I'm like, that's too much. So then I just got made sure I got oh. her rules down and I did it. And hers, hers was awesome. And she sent everybody that, not just me. Like I watched the other people open their stuff. CNC Farms is doing a seed that's swap. That's what I was going to say. Suzanne uh, is there you go. going. So there, yeah, well, I don't know if that's the one I saw the other night or not. It might be. But yeah, check that one out. And if I find out that other channel that did the other, that who's doing a seed swap, I'll let you know. Yeah, because I didn't know that I was going to get to do much gardening this year. And my son surprised me with something he brought home from work. So I might get to have a small spot. I haven't got to garden in years because I just don't have the time. Because it takes me till at least noon every day just to do morning chores. And... I just, you know, by then it's hot to garden and you want to get out and milk before the flies, but yet you also want to go dig in the dirt before it gets hot. So, yeah. Okay. So this brings up the question. Hello, Butler Family Farm. Um, so while you guys are on here, in case any of you sent me a package, if, if you don't want it known, if you'll email me so and tell me you want to be anonymous or if you are the one who sent me the two packages from Amazon, if you'll let me know. So I didn't know if that was related or not to that, but I thought I would bring it up. So Butler Family Farm, if you are the one, tell me. Or if you don't want it known, you can just email me. Anyway, so somebody did send me mail and I'm like, should I do it as anonymous or should I wait for the person to come forward? I don't really know. What you to never do. know. So I just, I have it. It's safe and sound, and I just don't know what to do with it yet. So uh, let me know. But if I don't get an email by Wednesday, I'll probably go ahead and do a homeless ministry donation video. Uh, but it will have to come out for next week because literally I already have the whole entire week scheduled Monday through Friday next week. Um, I do have Saturday and Sunday available, I think. I think, maybe. It wasn't us. Hmm. I thought you were the person. Because, was it you, Angela? What? Did you send me a package? No. Okay. No. I, I emailed no. the person I thought it was. So anyway, I'm asking around until I, I'll, I'll fight them. I'll fight them. I had um, hoped to do something, but I kind of got busy this week and became a grandma. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> It was, she's a girl. We thought it was going to be girl and that's that what we got. But um, yeah, it was, it was quite a crazy few days there, but. Oh, mom yeah. Is at home now, so yeah. What did they name her? I'm not going to say. Okay. Um, I understand. Yeah. I understand. For privacy, I asked. I don't, I don't say, I don't say my daughter's yeah. names or anything either. I would, that's yeah. why I always say daughter. 
always say daughter or husband. Actually, my husband has a YouTube name. His YouTube name is Taz. Yeah. So, and, and at first he had his name on his channel and I said, you have to change your name for when you comment on my videos, because people can see that. And if they know your name, they know my last name and they can find yeah. it. And I don't want, you know, but anyway, I have yeah. a PO box. So anybody can send me anything, I guess nice or otherwise. But anyway, I noticed uh, you had done goat videos, but I haven't seen one in a while. Oh, on what? On your goats. No, I haven't. It's been mostly focused in the kitchen this winter. I've done so many collaborations. It all started towards fall. Everybody was making soups and things. And then um, I hosted my very first collaboration in December called Dipsember to prepare for my big one in February just to kind of get a little, you know, something under my belt so I knew what I was doing a little more. And I don't know. It just seemed like all the collaborations that I was invited to participate in were around food, especially December. Yeah, so, I do more food in the winter and yeah. in the summer and then chickens. Probably really do more of that in spring and summer, too. But Yeah, it's like, you know, how much does people really want to watch me walk around looking like a marshmallow trying to dig through the snow, you know? So I figure once the baby goats really start coming, I just have the one. But yeah. I've got the mamas who are what we call bagging up, which means their milk's coming in. So I know that they're going to be having babies soon. And that's usually a good time to start in with the goats is when babies come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like today I did the, uh, you know, the chicken coop video. Well, that one did really well. But I did the video today where I'm putting them in the coop. And that one's going to come out on Friday. That'll be fun. And they're so little, but would well, they look little outside, but in the tote, they looked big, you know, because they, one of them had jumped out because hubby had not put the chicken wire over it in the utility ring yet. Oh, and no. did that, uh, yeah, I was in the middle of doing a live and I kept hearing peep, peep, peep. And I thought that's kind of weird for him to cry over <laughs> to do that over and over. Hello, Lori's yeah. world. And I, and so then I went in there and one of them was out and I just put that one back in. And that's when I told hubby, I think we need to close this thing. He's like, okay. And so he put that on and we only had that about a week and now they're out. So I watched the weather real close and they're all fully feathered and they were getting tall. And I was like, I think it's time. So yeah, we had it mostly done. So I'm not ready to have them in the house yet. I could start hatching because my turkeys have started laying eggs and I just, I just don't know. It's such a mess. Their tiny little feathers go everywhere and they're dusty and, oh. Yeah. Mine's in the back on the porch. Which isn't like a finished floor or anything. It's like a cement floor with a washer dryer, some shelves. I have my yeah. girl light in there and then we have our out of season holiday totes in there so it's not like a finished pretty room that we're not your kitchen yeah to, yeah it's not some room we're trying to show off or anything so hello josh yeah. no how are you yeah mr mr taz is working out in the yard for me right now <sighs> i just mentioned it thinking well he'll he'll get to it in a week but i didn't think he would be out there doing it right now <laughs> but maybe that means he really wants to go in there and <laughs> go to his friend's house and hang out yeah. huh? But he oh earned God. it, I guess. He earned it. So, uh, let's see. So, I was going to ask you about the gardening, but you said you are you are probably going to maybe do a small garden this year. At least some container gardenings, I think, stuff. I My goal is at least herbs, but I'm kind of wondering if I might try some green beans and tomatoes and some pots. We'll see how that goes. I have the land. It's just the time. Um, my asparagus, I always have it in the spring because it comes back every year. And then my grapes um, keep coming back, bless their hearts. Uh, my raspberries, I think they are they may have died this last year. My blackberries, I lost a few years ago. But I have my orchard still, of course, so I get my fruit from my fruit trees. So I will have stuff, just not as much as maybe I want. Yeah. Well, you're doing all the canning. I would 
I would think you had had you must go like to the farmers market or something because I used to actually manage the farmers market. Um, oh, okay. so you got all. Yeah, so I was there every week, but um, I don't know. I guess I'm blessed because I I was able to do tomatoes a couple years ago, and um, it was from someone who was on my bread route that had excess and wanted to share with me a thank you, you know, and around here, um, my neighbor told me, if you don't have zucchini on your back porch, you don't have friends because everybody gives it away around here because it grows so prolifically. So it's just, yeah. you know, you yeah, can, my mom grows, was always sharing. It grows really easily around here too. As a matter of fact, I was thinking about uh, doing uh, like one a zucchini recipe per week starting the harvest of the first zucchini and just do like every Friday premiere one video of me making something with zucchini. Now I have probably six recipes of my own that I looked up some. There actually is one that's not even a dessert. It's like a zucchini taco kind of thing. So oh, I haven't heard of that one. So I'm going to try that uh, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to do mine on Fridays. I'm going to premiere it. I'm going to have it at the same time. So then I'm going to uh -huh. try to get, get ahead to where every, to where it's already set up. And yeah. all I have to do is remember to go and show up for my own premiere. Cause I, I went to somebody's. I almost forgot this morning. Last week. Uh, and the person was not in their premiere and I'm like, where are they? I, I know I had that happen too. It was probably the same myself. person. I'm like, that must have happened. Yeah, I uh, yeah, it, yeah. And and you know, some people may not realize what what they're kind of like doing. Do you ever have musicians at farmers market? Yes. Um 2 years ago I was able to have someone almost every week and last year I was able to have someone once a month. We are a very very small market. We couldn't pay for a musician, so it was just those who would volunteer. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's um cool. Oh, zucchini. I want to share with you. So I made a recipe years ago and it was like um, a casserole, kind of like you would do um, a potato casserole and it was really good. But you have got to look this up or I'll find it and share it with you. Our favorite zucchini recipe is a pancake, a zucchini pancake. Who would have guessed, right? But it's really, really good. So mm -hmm. I'll have to share that with you sometime. I have, I have one that's like a... It's almost like a, it's like a quiche kind of thing. It's really good. Ooh, that good like too. a patty. And there's another one that's a patty with onions and a little bit of sugar and then a squash casserole. And then of course I'll probably do the typical zucchini muffins, you know, which everybody mm -hmm. which I've already done, but I'll just do it again because it is my favorite zucchini recipe. Cause in the summer when I was little, uh, my friends would come over in the summer and my mom would give us glasses of tea and zucchini bread muffins. And she Aww. would them. So by the end of the day, she said, I'd have to make sure I put some up for me and your dad because <laughs> you would just run in and grab them off the oven and, and, uh, and get more. So we loved them. And my niece is the only one that ever said she didn't like them, but she never tried it. So one day she finally tried it. Come to find out she was just as crazy about it as the rest of us. Oh, so all, all she had to do was try it. Well, and they'll take on the flavor of just about anything. Like my mom has made a mock apple pie where there's no apples in it at all. But because of the seasonings you use, like your cinnamon or whatever, yeah. you know, maybe that make it tastes like an apple pie. Yes. There's a... Um, I've even canned mock pineapple with it. I want to dehydrate cool. or freeze dry it to see what happens. I'm you can dehydrate it and make it like gummies. Pineapple zucchini or something, or what was it? Something yeah, with, so it something tastes like pineapple. Yeah, that, I've done that. You take zucchini and you cube it or you shred it so it's like crushed pineapple. And I will tell you, I like it um, in recipes, like in breads and stuff. Like if you want to make a pineapple bread or something like that. But to eat it plain, it's not the same texture as a pineapple. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, what was I going to say? 
pineapple, zucchini. Hmm. Can't remember now. And maybe I'll remember. Oh, do you do do you do any crafts? I know you do because I watched one of your video intros where you Yes, I haven't quilted in quite some time, actually. I, I do enjoy quilting. Um, behind me, the most recent project, because it's so easy, are my kitchen aprons that I make. Nice. So, like, it's a scarf, or a scarf, a kitchen scarf. So you wear it around your neck. Sometimes you've seen them as kitchen boas or whatever, and you wear it around your neck so that you can just wipe your hands if you don't want to wear an apron or something. Or you can use them as pot holders and... I but thought you were going to say they were to keep the back of your neck cool because the kitchen is so. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea too. But some people just don't like wearing. Yeah, I have one apron, uh, and then I have the one I'm going to give away that's still in the package. And then my mom told me she I made. Win that, by the way, I huh? love aprons. I want. I'm going to win that. By the way, you're going to win I that. Love apron. I believe your name is on the list. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna take all the names that that shared and put them on a wheel, and I'll probably do it either tomorrow or Tuesday. And I already have videos scheduled, so I don't know. It may have to be a second video. I don't like doing that, but I know people want to know. But the only thing is, the notification is not going to come on that, or I'll have to move a video to the next week and. Put it on a day when the video is not, you know, I don't know. Well, I'll look, I may, maybe I have a spot on, I'll figure it out, but I do need to do that. I do need to do a video on so that. So do you do videos every day? <clears throat> I don't do them every day. I do like on Monday, hubby is at work. And so I usually try to do more than one video on Mondays. So Yeah. Sometimes I would say I do kind of batches. Like I might do two two videos in one day. I met post. Videos. I don't usually do them on the. I usually posting. I do scheduling. I do all scheduling. But now. you schedule like every day a video comes out is what I was asking. Yeah, yeah, I schedule it where one video comes out every day, and the oh, only wow, way I like like scheduling. Uh, I don't, I schedule more Monday through Friday because I feel like the views are better. Um, and I do do weekends if I need to, you know, to fill in, but I feel like the views are better. Do you think your views are better during the week than, than weekends? Or do you think it matters? Um, I usually don't. Well, see, my videos used to come out every Sunday. I tried to pick a day of the week, you know, thinking that people, um, on the weekends are either really busy or that's when they have time to watch. And I wasn't sure. So I just started out uh, last year, every Sunday came out a video and this year I've gone back and forth on whether I want to keep that today. I had a video come out, but I don't think as well as when I have them come out during the week, like Monday through Friday, I don't like doing Saturday videos. Um, so yeah. I try not to make them on the weekends unless it's something rare, like, like we're putting the chicks in the coop today. We made that video, but that video is not actually coming out till Friday. Yeah. <laughs> or if I'm doing some gardening angle that I don't think I can get and I need hubby to get it for me, I might have him do that. Like yeah. one video, I did all the pieces of the video. And then when it came to the actual planting part, because I showed how, what I was putting in the, in the new bed that I was making but when it came to the planting part, I had him set up the angle because he could do it a little better. Cause it's hard for me to see what I'm seeing there. Well, yeah. You know. I, yeah. Do you, so, I use my phone to do my yeah. videos. Yeah. I, I'm using my I phone. Really I have a GoPro, camera. but I'm still trying to work out the kinks on it. Cause right now it's holding my pina colada smoothie recipe uh, video <laughs> uh, hostage. So that video exists. Oh, Will I ever be able to get it to a place to, you know, will I ever schedule it? I don't know. We'll see. Oh. But I did make it and it came out really good. And I thought it was a really cool angle. And now we all want to watch it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, what it tried to do, it, tr it gave me one piece of the video. It, it took forever because it was computer. I'm so used to my phone and it's easier. And then 
Hello, Delia from Mandalay Cards and More. Um, and then it it only scheduled, it only got three and a half minutes and it was another four minutes added to it. So it was going to oh. be like a seven or eight minute video, but it only did three and a half minutes. So it didn't do all of it. You leaving? I do too, Mandalay. I, I use iMovie. Yeah. Thanks. I'm using a uh, video, video guru, and I've been using the same one for two oh, years. And, but mine's a uh, Android. So that's what, oh, Android. okay. Cause everybody uses like iPhone is for, I, I, iMovie is for iPhone video for guru used for that. So, yes. Uh, so you said you do quilting, but you haven't done it in a while. Do you do any other uh, kind of the, uh, crafts like, like jewelry making oh i've done it all <laughs> it's just when i have time i used to work at a little store and i actually um taught classes on how to do crafting classes like sometimes we made clay jewelry sometimes we um would repurpose an old door and turn it into shelves another time i took chicken wire and we made decorations and Oh my goodness. I don't even know what all I did, <laughs> but yeah, just something fun and creative. I'm going to do it. Painting. Um, gosh, I don't know. Um, I just love to try all sorts of new things and looks like we lost Gail. Hopefully she'll be back. Uh, let's see if anyone else has asked any questions while she's gone. And I think she's back. I'm back. Yay. How long was I gone? couple minutes oh, <laughs> I was no, talking. Um, yeah, I, I noticed in your video you said you had three teenagers but that was a while back so uh do you still have teenagers at home or do, or are they oh uh, well um my youngest is technically a teen he's 19 mm -hmm. so my baby's 19 <laughs> yeah so you have one at home still two at home two at home um yeah, they're both in college, so we encourage them while they're in college, um, if it's if they would like to stay, that they sure can. So, yeah, my middle child is getting ready to graduate, um, but she's um, able to go to school while living at home still, and that's been helpful for her. Yeah, the one we one of our daughters that we. We had one, we had a senior last year and um, anyway, and now we have another senior. The other one's a senior and uh, we thought she was going to go to college, but um, then she applied at the place where my husband works. So I think that means she's not going to college. Mm -hmm. You know, it. I, I college is great and all, but not everybody thrives there and i think it's okay if you don't my son is going to a technical college yeah i mean i'm okay with it i, I yeah i did most things just is, i'm sorry what'd you say i didn't do like an associate's degree or anything i just did certain courses for whatever yeah. i was doing i did medical coding and billing and i did some you know, Excel and Word and photography and different things. But mostly I did the, the biggest thing I did, though, was I did the medical coding and billing. I didn't want to do the nursing part because I don't like blood so much. But I, I did billing and I did reception work and medical records and all that. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I saw something about you driving a tractor. And when I... When I heard you talking about driving a tractor, it reminded me of I made a little video and I don't really even remember how I held the camera, but I was trying to drive a rotting lawnmower and uh, it's just a short video. And when I went to hit the thing, like he told me, it jumped. And so I kind of squealed. And then, and then every time it would do a bump or this or that, I would yell. And it is the funniest video. I need to find that. I don't, it's got to be near the beginning of when I started. Hello, uh, the Vineyard Chicks. How are you? So, yeah, that kind of just reminded me of that. Me trying to ride the riding lawnmower. But we, we hooked up like a trailer on it so that if we wanted to get 
leaves or brush or something from one side of the yard to the other or the back, the front yard to the backyard or whatever we, we had that. So that's why I wanted to learn how. And I was going to ask you what it was like growing up on a farm. Around here, it's very rural, and so it's very common. That's just kind of, you know, everybody either lives on or works at or been around a farm. So it just is pretty natural for me. Um, I have a different type of farm than I grew up on. I'd never, um, my dad had beef cattle, so I'd been around cattle, but I never worked them. It was one of those things where um, it was more of a guy thing, and I got to watch on the other side of the gate. And by the time I got old enough that I could probably really help, um, Dad got out of the cattle business. And so I didn't know anything about livestock, really, as far as how to handle them and how to train them and what to do. But... The field farming, I rode in the truck. I remember taking my crayons and coloring book and, and sitting in the back of the truck with daddy, but I never knew how to drive a tractor. And, you know, all this stuff was new to me when I got married. And um, actually, when we were together, we were married probably 15 years before we started farming. So, yeah, it was later to life when we started farming, but we'd been around it, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, I watched my dad garden it. I wish I had paid a little bit more attention because, you know, I had to learn, turn around. And when I started the, the shed wars thing two years ago, I was like, I've got to learn. I got to get better at this because everybody now everybody's watching. <laughs> so and that's why I got so stressed out when my garden didn't do so well. It's because everybody saw it didn't do well. It did well the first year and then the second year. It didn't do well, so and then everybody saw it. So then that's why I was all, oh. But this year, I'm just doing, I'm making videos, but I, I don't have the pressure of, you know, working on a team and putting up weight and all yeah. that. So it, it makes it less stressful, but I am still trying to make it nice. So we'll see how it comes out. But I've been consistently working on it for a while. Hello, uh, Charles Bushcraft family. But I... <clears throat> we lived on a farm one time when I was younger. So, but I did kind of grow up uh, with the hunting and fishing and all that in my family. You know, that was normal. And uh, even if we did live in like a city, um, the. Um, my tired is showing. I'm so sorry. We still, we still would have a garden even in the middle of the city. So That's awesome. No, Joe Serrano. I am not in Shed Wars this year. I did not make the deadline. It did uh, kind of came and flew before I even. Oh, uh, it kind of came and went before I before I even realized it. the The draft live came out, and I didn't even know they were drafting. I just missed it. The whole thing. I'm trying to read my own handwriting. Oh, um, the years that when you weren't on the farm, what were you doing then? Were you like working a job or? So um, we actually lived on this property when we first got married. We lived here about seven years and um, I just did odd stuff. We, we got married and got pregnant right away. So I became a mom and we decided that we wanted me to be able to be a stay-at-home mom. And so I did a little bit of babysitting, like just randomly and, you know, did some, um, like I sold Pampered Chef a little bit and stuff like that. And then when we moved, I opened up an in-home daycare and preschool. And so I ran a daycare and a preschool for several years until my father-in-law passed and we moved back to the farm and started and took over the farm. So, um, I went to school for business. That's what my degree is in. And then I got my early childhood education degree while running my in-home daycare and preschool. Um, so, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I did. I've done a little bit of everything. I worked as a 
Well, I did medical coding and billing where I did reception. I did medical records. I did medical billing. I was an office manager. I worked at Blockbuster a long time ago. I've been a paraprofessional where you work with the special needs children. I did that. Mm -hmm. I've done a little bit of everything. I done guess I was a waitress before we got married. Yeah, I've done that too. And then I was a manager of a little store in town for a while too. I guess I briefly talked about how I taught those classes. So, um, yeah. Yep. I've worked at the daycare, at, like at church too, you know, like Awanas and different stuff like that. Mm hmm Okay. I, li I like to ask this question just because, okay, so you're on a farm and uh, if you didn't have, if, if money was not an issue and, and you weren't worried about taking care of your animals, some, you had somebody that could do that for you, where would you travel to if you could? <clears throat> oh, somewhere um, like maybe like Aruba or something or um, Aruba tropical and warm and somewhere out of the u.s somewhere that i wouldn't normally get to do you know somewhere you'd have to get on a plane or something jamaica i've not been to jamaica a lot of my family have and that's been really awesome so maybe jamaica that's cool what is blockbuster ha 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 you're right what is that was the funnest job not ever. anymore is it i loved it we got to we got to actually rent movies uh like like we could rent 10 or 12 movies a week or something for free it would be like so That's many new cool. ones and so many old ones you could do so many new ones per week and so many old ones oh how neat oh yeah, I think I'm a customer here. Do you? Okay. Well, I'm pretty much yeah. done. Uh, I just need to move done. away from the milk so that they have their privacy. And oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I you just wanted to go off. Yeah. No, I don't have to go. I just okay. want to make sure that they have their privacy. Hey, yeah. don't worry. As long as you say. From here over, you won't be on. I'm doing it live, a guest. Yeah. No How are you this week? <laughs> yeah, good. Sorry That's about that. Did you have more questions for me? Actually, I was pretty much done. I was actually down to the very last question, which is, do you have a question for me? Um, I don't think so. Okay. That's cool. That's fine. I think I, I was asked asked sometimes people. Oh, I guess, how long yeah. have you been doing YouTube? You probably um, two times. years. It'll be, it'll be uh, two years in August. Yeah, I was thinking you weren't that far ahead of me. Yeah, two yeah. years. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's good. I'm still learning. I'm still lately. I've been doing like a channel audit where I'm trying to go through like, am I doing the right hashtags? Am I doing the right titles? I've been trying to learn things and just to keep moving forward and progressing. If I could master the GoPro, maybe the videos would be a little better, but it, it's so, it takes so much longer and that to me is frustrating. So I really yeah. hate it. So then I don't yeah. want to use that because it's, it's better, but it's harder for me because I'm so used to doing it my own way on the phone. And so ugh, I hate doing yeah. Harder that I could do easier. Yeah, it's hard to learn new, new things differently. It, it, it is. It is. So I'm trying. That's why I haven't opened up my little store yet because, I mean, my online store. Yeah. Because I have to figure out how to enter everything and then, you know, pictures at angles and lighting and, oh, <laughs> I want to learn because I want to know how, but. Yes. I keep putting it on the back burner because it's like, you know, got to put out this fire first. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm surprised that blockbusters were around when you guys were in the world. I mean, it seems like for it's been like forever. Hello, Carlene Vassar. I was like a shift leader type person and I was young. And I, that's actually when I was living in Rhode Island that I worked there. I went from Texas to Rhode Island and then to Oklahoma, and then back to Texas. So, wow. 
tomorrow mom and I are going out to do our fourth trip uh, to do the homeless ministry. We're going out to do that our fourth time tomorrow. Very so, nice. Uh, I'm going to, one thing I haven't done so far is bring a little tablet and kind of write notes. How many people we connected with, maybe even see if I could get them to agree to give me their first name so I could pray for them and stuff like that. And, and nice. uh, we've met some really good people. We actually cut, got a couple of pictures. I got one picture. I asked the guy, he said, okay. The other one, uh, I was talking to the lady and mom was in the car and she snapped the picture. So Aww. she did a little, but anyway, they are very sensitive about having their picture made. So, Oh, probably. Yeah. I bet they are because they probably feel like they don't look very good. It's part of it. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, they don't feel like they're at their best time period in their life. So, you know, right. it's something they want to show off. I'm 72. So I remember Blockbuster. Yes. Me too. I liked Blockbuster. Let's see. What is Ariel saying? Thank you, Ariel. That's very cool. Oh, bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I have to, I think I'll just try to make my video on the, on the things I got. And I'm going to double check inside of it because maybe there's a little tiny slip of paper. It has that person's name on it. So I'm going to keep looking, but I emailed the one person I thought it was because she was in your live. I say there could have been somebody off of the live that we yeah, did. I think it was, week. but there could have been somebody else. Yeah. But, uh, some people may be anonymous. I know there was one who definitely wanted to, that did send you something because she said, or I think during the live, didn't she say it was, she'd already ordered it while we were live. Well, remember I couldn't see the comments because I was on my phone. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. But I, so I think I'll just make the video to show it and say anonymous and then just yeah. say, you know, if you want your name, whatever, I can change the title and put your link in. And then mm -hmm. in the description box later. Yeah, but, uh, I was I was digging in my bags, a couple of uh, of my pine mulch. I was doing some gardening, and I reached in there. I lost you. Yeah. I don't know if the rest of y'all can hear or not. Nope, she's frozen. Gail, you're gone. Well, I guess um, while we're waiting on Gail, if anyone else has any questions for me as her guest that you want me to answer, I'm happy to do so. Um, I think we pretty much said everything about me that you might want to know. Oh, Gail's back. I'm back. <laughs> I was reaching in my pine mulch uh, bag and apparently there were ants in it, fire ants. And oh, I reached no. in there and my was like on fire. I got 12 bites on my hand and my oh, wrist. I've never bites. experienced that before. I, we don't have those around here. Yeah, I have been very consistently fighting the fire ants in my yard. Oh, and, that is scary. Uh, it, it's awful. I hate it. So I've tried uh, the sugar borax water mixture. Uh, I've tried uh, boiling hot water. Uh, also, I noticed they didn't climb into the cow manure compost. And my well, husband got no reason to do that. Then he's he's like he's like yeah, nobody likes poop. And I'm like okay, well fine. So I took my little bag around and I sprinkled it on everything in the hole. Yeah. Maybe uh, that'll so work. Like, you know, hey, if that if they don't like it, maybe that could work. So anyway, areas yeah. where there's no plants yet, I have been boiling water in my teapot and taking it out there. Of course, it takes forever because it's one teapot. I'm afraid right. to go up and down stairs with like a bigger thing of water. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to spill That'd it. Be bad. And especially since at the time, the chicks were in the utility room. So if I had made an accident in there, it could have hurt one of them too. So that makes it even worse. Cause I don't want to like, you know, mess with it. Uh, Joe from Kansas, right? Smack in the middle. 
Yeah. Well, in my little bitty town, there isn't any homeless people that I know of. So I actually travel to my hometown where my mom and my brother are and we give out the bags there. So we're, I'll be waking up in the morning, getting ready and getting all my bags. Well, they're already filled, but getting the bags together and going there to uh, hand them out. So we're doing that tomorrow. But this time I'm writing notes. I'm taking notes. So I'll know where we went and who we talked to and how many male and how many female and all that kind of stuff. So you can make notes. But anyway, the, I'm going to make a video of the donation because I don't think I'm going to figure out who it is. And maybe it is one of the anonymous ones. And that's for perfectly fine. I don't post any videos on anything until I ask the person, hey, is it okay if I say your name? Well, I can't on this one because I don't know who it is. So I'm just going to yeah. say anonymous. Yeah. Well, thank you. If you happen to be in the live, thank you for the anonymous donation. That's awesome. They will appreciate it, I'm sure. But I think, I think I am done for today. I, I appreciate you coming on with me. And uh, I had fun doing the audit today to see what all you had going on in your channel, learning, learning more about you and what you do. And well, thank I, you. That's it. That's important. And it's cool. That's when you really, really get to know people when you have them up and you're talking like this, because it, it feels yeah. like you're in the room because you're looking at each other in the face. And then yeah. all you guys get to know her. And I do have her link pinned to the top of the chat. Also have her link in the description box. So after when the live post, her link is in there too. So please go by and connect with her and say hi. Uh, watch a couple of videos. She's got a lot of good cooking stuff canning stuff, freeze dryer, all kinds of stuff going on there. So awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you for coming on, Angela. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you all you guys uh, out in the audience um, for coming by. I appreciate it. Please go by and connect with her. And um, I will be on uh I will be in Garden State Gardeners Live in about 45 minutes. So if you're interested, you like winning seeds and yarn and stuff like that, go by and uh, check out Garden State Gardeners Live. Bye, guys. Thank you for coming by.